Also, are you joining JPG Ragnarok? I'm, I'm gonna join it, but I mean, I probably won't make it past round one. I'm sure that's gonna be extremely tough. It's gonna be all the best players in the world in that tournament. So if I even just make it past round one, that'll be a win. All right, let's see how this new room in. That, that, that last room, everyone was just hitting me. I had no shot. I'm just, you know, you're at the mercy of other players and if they wanna hit you with reds, there's nothing you can do. But let's see if players are a little nicer to me in this room. Yeah, this grips the track really well. Okay, that red shell just went right past them. It's like the person's gotta kinda be in front of you, I guess, for the red to connect. My other red didn't connect, so I had to throw another one back, which means I'm vulnerable now. I don't know what's going on with Jimmy. He just gave up first place. Oh, there's a blue shell, that's why. Okay, well, I got a super horn, so... Oh, it didn't go for me! This is the first bit of luck I've had all day. What? Whoever invented the boo item, they did not want players to have any fun. The Mega Mushroom is so much better than the boo item. I miss the Mega Mushroom. Yes! I mean, really unfortunate I pulled a coin. I would have loved to save that. And now I'm gonna get another coin. And I, I can't even get a trick! Oh, this is bad. I need to get the Shroomless Shortcut. This shortcut's really good, guys. You have to learn the shortcut. You have a big advantage on this track. And then that also, you can trick off the side. Please, Boo, do not steal my banana. I've had enough bad luck today. Okay, it is, it is no coincidence that I leave that monstrosity of a room where I just got hit by everyone a million times and I get first place first race. The other room, I, I think everyone just knew me and was trolling me because I'm streaming. That's what it felt like. I, I've never got hit that many times in five races. Like, I was getting Mario Karted almost every, yeah, every single race I got Mario Karted. So this room is much nicer so far. That actually felt like a normal race. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, you know why? Look at the VR of everyone. That is why. We got in an extremely low VR room. Okay, that makes way more sense. I was like, how did that feel like a completely different experience? But that was way more enjoyable. It wasn't just item spam everywhere. Okay, I still don't know the layout of this track, uh, but I want to play it because I want to learn it. Um, I've only played this one like two or three times, and it has... Oh, people are not voting it. Um, but it has, I, I know the first half of it, but the second half with the swervy turns in the dark, like I, I get a little bit confused. So hopefully I'm in first and I can just focus on the layout and not all the items everywhere. What is the best combo in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? I don't think anybody knows. It's probably just Yoshi Teddy Buggy, honestly. Have you checked out the mod pack Mario Kart Generations? No. Is that on 8 Deluxe or Mario Kart Wii? Uh, I've never heard of it. I hope the Boo item gets replaced with the Mega Mushroom. Please, the Boo item is the worst thing Nintendo ever did. I, I think it's my least favorite item in the game, besides the Fire Flower and the Boomerang and the Red Shells. Obviously those are the worst, but but the Boo item, yes, we got Vancouver. The, the Boo item is no fun. Like, I feel like when I get the Boo item, it always gives me a coin, and when other people get the Boo item, they steal my triple mushrooms. That's what the Boo item feels like. Okay, where do I go? This way. I'm just gonna use this. I think there's a double box next, isn't there? Kind of like as as the turns come up, I'm I'm learning it. Where's my trick? No. I think I jumped over the trickable region on accident. This turn feels really nice. The best thing Nintendo ever did to this game is they made it so when you uh, get shocked in the air, you don't lose your glider. Like, that was the best change they ever made, in my opinion. 
This way? Okay. Well, I have a breakaway. That's cool. So I know in the ice skating section, you go left, and then you go straight the next time you're in it. Okay, left. Oh, left again, okay. All right, one more lap. We're getting blue shelled, but it looks like we have a little bit of a breakaway and we have 10 coins, so this is actually going pretty well. Nice, luck is on my side here. Okay, let's go. Oh, this way, okay, it's so narrow here. Oh, that was really good. That was the best corner all video. Is it a left? Yeah, okay. You can't see it until you're in the air. I, I didn't want to trick because I didn't know for sure. Oh, I just dodged the blue and the red with one super horn. Let's go. Let's go. All right. That track is literally just me trying to figure out what corner's coming up. There's like, there's probably like 20 different corners on that level at least 20 considering it's three different tracks in one track that track is confusing it's the new berlin byways of wave three but in wave five and instead it's nighttime so it makes it even harder just spent two hours yesterday beating the 200 cc athens staff ghost i've actually never like played time trials in this game so i don't i don't really know how difficult the staff ghosts are but i'm sure they're more difficult than mario kart uh Mario Kart Wii staff goes. Those are super easy for the most part. I'm just happy I didn't go the wrong way. Every time I've played that track, I've gotten confused on where to go. So that was the first time I've actually like taken the right corner every time. Use Wiggler or PD, please. All right, I'll, I'll switch to PD Prana because <laughs> I used Wiggler earlier and I got wrecked. But now I'm gonna lose. <laughs> I should probably play Dry Bones. I feel like I'm best with Dry Bones. Vancouver is a nightmare map. Yes, exactly, K Mochi. I agree. It's way too narrow. Like, does Nintendo playtest these tracks at all? Like, seriously. Like, whether you're playing 150 or 200, they don't scale the maps correctly anymore. And they make them so confusing. Uh, I'm primarily talking about the city tracks. Like, it feels like the city tracks are just not even made for this game. This is one of the better city tracks. I actually like this one a lot. I'm really excited to play this one. Guys, we're gonna start the tournament at any moment. The code is right below me on the screen. Uh, would love to have you guys join the room. Hopefully we can get like a couple hundred people playing. It's gonna be uh, 200 CC all items available. And I think it's faster to do this and like get a trick here. I don't know. Let's see if we can get an orange main turbo. Nice. Yeah, this thing just grips the track really well. I really like the Streetle. It's probably a top three or four vehicle uh, frame in the game. Yes, the boost stole my coin. Finally, something goes my way. Ooh, early shock. One thing Nintendo needs to do is like add a timer to the screen. Like I really, every single time the shock is used, like my brain always wants to just check what time it is so I can figure out when the next shock can be used. And there's just no timer anywhere. Like, why is there a timer on time trials and not online? Like, we need the timer, Nintendo. Come on. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go get the double box. Maybe I'll get a super horn. Nope, a super coin. Jimmy. Gotta get rid of his defense. It's a battle right now. I gotta watch out for the mini map. I gotta, I gotta watch Jimmy's back trail. I gotta watch the mini map. There's a lot of things to focus on. Still no blue shell. I went for a crazy snipe.
how did I hit him with that red? He must have backspammed his item right there to get two items, and then he didn't get his box in time. That seems like a really broken strategy in this game. Like, throw your red right before an item box, and then you can get another red, and then your opponent has, like, no way to defend themselves. I mean, that was just kind of lucky, but I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Gotta win with PD Prana. Someone in the chat wanted PD Prana. Much better than the Wiggler gameplay earlier. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to play one more race and we're going to join the tournament. And I cannot wait to play 200cc. 200cc feels less crazy than 150cc. There, I said it. I, I don't know why, it just does. I think some of you would agree with me. Alright, alright. We got we to gotta finish with the best character. Best character in the game. Yeah, these stats are incredible. We're picking Super Bell Subway because I want to suffer. King Huckster says he's just going to watch the tournament, but you know what? I appreciate it nonetheless. The more players, though, the merrier. I mean, hopefully we get like 200, 300 players playing. We got over 1,000 watching right now, which is insane. Uh, cannot wait. One shot says, well, you made it. <laughs> yeah, I one shot. I mean, I kind of cheated. Thank you. Thank you for the $20. I, I was never, ever going to win three races in that other room. But with this room, the VR is so much lower. I have a pretty big advantage. So thank you for keeping your word though. A lot of times people say in comments, they're like, I'll donate this much if this happens. And then they're actually just trolling you. Uh, but one shot is, he's a real one. He kept his word. Thank you so much for the $20 and then the $10 earlier. I really appreciate that. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the tournament coming up. It is gonna be really fun. Cause I mean, you know, it's all the subscribers, all the people watching the stream. We're all in it together. And then the rooms change every four races. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have so many new groups. So many of you are gonna get to play against me, and I think I'm gonna go dry bones. We'll see. We'll see. I'll probably change my mind and change my character like every four races. I can never decide what I want to use in this game, as you guys have seen already. I change my mind every single, every single day on what's the best combo. <laughs> oh, I just got like five tricks off that. I tried to get a mini turbo, a good one, but nope. Got the blue one instead. There we go. That's a good main turbo. Not going to get too crazy on this section. Don't want to fall off. Okay, okay, okay. I have a breakaway right now. And 10 coins. So I used my coin right before the blue hit me, and I'm already at 9. That is actually a really good strategy. I wasn't sure if that worked. I was a little risky to try that, but it actually paid off amazingly. Got to nine immediately. So yeah, right before the blue hits you. Yo, the boost stole my coin again. My luck is incredible these last few races. And I just pulled a banana, so I have defense. Let's go. We got this one, we got this one. Beautiful track. It's not really the most satisfying track to win on because it's so short. I, I actually kind of feel like that track should be two laps. Like, I don't know about you guys. Like, it's one of the few tracks that I feel like is too short in the game. It's got to be one of the shortest tracks. All right, tournament time. This is what we've been waiting for. 200cc is so fun in this game. Uh, 150cc, I struggle. But 200 is just an adrenaline rush. Like, it feels like a mod when you're playing it, for real. All right. Tournament code right below me. Join right now. Let's go. FFA series. 200cc. All items available. Good luck to my competitors. Let's go. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll keep using the streetle. This has been super fun. Uh, the first few races using the streetle with a couple different characters here. PD the new meta. No. <laughs> PD takes up too much screen real estate with the giant head. I got disconnected from my own tournament. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? We're getting trolled by Nintendo and this stream just started. All right. Guys, the tournament is starting right now. It goes on two hours. It's 24 races. So you can join 30 minutes from now and still play all 24 races. You got about a 30 minute buffer. It takes about an hour and a half generally to get through 24. Please, let's get in a room. Let's play some races. Come on, please, Nintendo. Don't, okay, good, good. Please wait is a good sign. Yes, Neil Bowser City, one of my favorite tracks. Let's go. I made YouTube shorts on my favorite DLC tracks and my favorite tracks from the original Mario Kart 8, the first 48 
uh, tracks, and uh, Neo Bowser City is definitely in my top five for the original 48. But a lot of people don't really care for Neo Bowser City, and it's a tough track, but I just love the music so much and like the whole like cyberpunk vibe of it. It doesn't really feel like a Bowser track like the rest of the Bowser Castle tracks, and I think that's what makes it so cool. I love it. I love that track so much. I hope it gets chosen. I'm the only one who voted for it. And I really don't want to play Calamari Desert. <laughs> it's okay. It's 200cc. This would be way more fun. The one thing I don't like about Kemic is every time he uses his magic, you can't see because it's all colorful on your screen. I I like, um, you know, I, I like... I mean, Wiggler's kind of tall too, he kind of takes up a lot of space. I like Dry Bones and Bowser Jr. They don't take up any space. You, you could see right in front of you, it's great. Oh, we got multiple PD Piranhas in the room. Let's go, let's go. Got a Wiggler in here too. All right, good luck everyone, this is gonna be fun. This is already way more fun just going fast. That's my old combo right there. What? There is always something that hits me that shouldn't hit me in this game. All right, I just kept a mushroom because I realized I wasn't gonna get the double locks. Let's go, let's go. All right, we're surviving here. This race is gonna be over before we know it. I gotta use this, no, what? Oh, how did he pass me? I mushroomed. Odd, okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going for the double walks. I'm, I'm wait. Hang on. A bullet. Wait. If I dodge. If I dodge. Come on. Come on. There's a blue shell, but it's not going to even reach the PD, which is unfortunate. And this bullet sucked. Did nothing for me. We're getting seventh. I do not like that track. I do not like that one. All right. Top two PD Piranha. Look at that. And Drybones Gang got bodied. I gotta redeem Drybones Gang. We are getting floored here after race one. I want a Drybones player to win it all. Yes, DK Summit. Granted, I don't really like this one as much on 200. It's like, I think this is my favorite 150cc track and I, I don't even think I would put it in my top 10 on 200. I've just had too many races go catastrophically wrong on the last corner. Like I, I've gone from first to last on the last corner a couple times just cause it glitches me the wrong way. I said this before, I don't mind 200cc, but I swear the mistakes or the damage you take in this game is so much worse than on 150. Well, if you use like a higher acceleration combo, it's not too bad, but there's no standstill Matro Bow in this game, so you can really get wrecked. Uh, Vlad Zero with the 65 MX dollars. Thank you so much. Hey Troy, would you do a speed run of all Mario Kart 8 Deluxe original tracks plus DLC once Wave 6 is released? I mean, maybe. I would have to practice, but. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Vlad, Vlad Zero, I will consider it. We got Poop Butt, what is up? <laughs> With a three month donation. Hey Troy, I have a question. Where can I download the .001 mod? Uh, one sec. You used a few years ago. Can't find it on the wiki. Um, yeah, there's like this one program you can get on the wiki where you can mod vehicles and then you just have to mod it yourself. Cause I don't think it. I don't think the, down, the download is anywhere. I definitely don't have the mod anymore. But th there's a program where you can mod vehicles, and it's really cool. Uh, uh, I'm just getting bumped into oblivion. Okay, well, a good thing it's only lap one. I'm not even gonna attempt the double here. And there's no double box, so we're going for obviously the single. Oh, oh, that was so sick! How did I even do that? I've never done that before. I have never done that. We got our work cut out for us. I'm throwing this. Two blue shells! No! That means they're gonna just hit each other and only one is gonna connect. I just wasted my blue shell. We're catching up though, we're catching up. There's a bullet bill. I can't even go for double. It's just too chaotic right now. Yeah, I got hit by something. I have no idea what it was. Classic Mario Kart 8. And I tried to go up top, but the game wouldn't let me, and I am in a very bad spot right now. And like I said, I love this track on 150, and on 200cc, it's just madness. 
This is a great username, Super Salty. I feel that way every time I play this game. I should change my username to Super Salty. That would be more accurate. The PD Pranas are dominating. Bam! Can we make the comeback? Hang on, hang on. I can't go for double, guys. There's no way. No! This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I'm talking about. The, the track does not work. The track does not work. Why does it shoot me backwards? It's a miracle I got second. I mean, I cannot believe I got second. But this track is horrible on 200. Oh my gosh, it is not made for 200. They need to fix this track. It's so stupid. Like, what are you supposed to do? Like, why does it shoot you backwards? Oh, torture. Okay, okay, hang on. I love this track. We're playing Ninja Hideaway. I love the 200cc shortcut on this one. I'm surprised there's no Pokemon in this game. What if like the last character was Pikachu? I think everyone would lose their marbles. We already have Villager, we have Link, like, we have Inkling, like, I'm really surprised we don't have a Pokemon. Let's see here. Uh, where were we? We were on, I'm trying to see. Eric Taylor with the $2. What's the best heavyweight bike combination? I feel like people online, generally, if they use a bike, uh, use Mr. Scooty. I feel like Mr. Scooty is the best bike, but some people are really good with the sport bike and the Yoshi bike I'm pretty sure those two have the exact same stats and then if you want heavyweight It just really depends on how heavyweight you want to go because there's multiple different tiers of heavyweight so I Mean J JP Givener used to use uh, Wario and the Mr. Scooty combo with the roller wheels, so I I'd imagine that's pretty good. I Don't know if he still uses that though Yep, sliding out of control. No idea what I'm supposed to do there. I guess I just won't go for that shortcut. I gotta break drift more. This track is really hard on 200. Oh, I got triple mushrooms. I should've taken top route. I'm done, I'm done. Okay, this game makes no sense. I should've got hit there. Oh. I should have got hit there and I didn't and then like this whole entire stream I've got hit a million times when the items are nowhere near me like I have no idea what to do in this game Like how am I supposed to even maneuver having no idea where the people actually are on the track? Like the way the net code works on Mario Kart Wii is entirely different like people actually have to hit you on your screen while uh, it doesn't matter exactly what happens on their screen, while this game works like the complete opposite. I don't want to take that route. I'm going down. I'm not doing the shortcut. I'm playing it safe. And hopefully this person doesn't have another red shell. What? You can trick and hit the ceiling? We're having a tough time on this one. But if I pull a mushroom here, oh, it's going to be interesting. A red shell. I'm throwing it. This is risky, but I'm doing it. Oh, yo, but is that, is that a top two dry bones? I think we just got top two dry bones. And dry bones also got fifth. The dry bones gang is taking over. Uh, PD Prana is no more. PD Prana meta dead. It is dry bones meta, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that top two dry bones. Love to see it. That was a crazy race. I mean, I, I just don't feel comfortable doing that, be getting shortcut on 200 because it's so slidey, like it's weird. You wouldn't think that the, the wooden floors would be like slippery terrain, but like, I don't think anyone has mopped the floors in years on Ninja Hideaway. You slide everywhere on that track. <laughs> Imagine Matt from Wii Sports is the DLC. That would be the worst thing ever, considering we already have Matt. I think what they should do is they should have an option for the Miis where they take off the helmets, because like the helmets are so like, they take away so much from the Miis. Like in Mario Kart Wii, you can see the full me when you're driving as the me. Is that Steve Harvey? I think there's a Steve Harvey me in here. That's so funny. But but the helmets like kind of ruin it because from the back, every single me looks exactly the same. So Nintendo needs to remove the helmets. I don't understand why every single character in the game 
Peach, Mario, Bowser, you know, Donkey Kong, none of them wear helmets, but the Miis have to wear helmets. Like, that is so stupid. All right, rant over. I just can't stand the helmets on the Miis. That's why I never use the Miis. Eric Taylor with the $5. I haven't played Mario Kart in years, but I've always been a Donkey Kong or Bowser user. Well, Donkey Kong used to be the meta, but people used Waluigi because he had a slender uh, character frame, uh, making it so you can see the sides of the vehicles, where Donkey Kong has these elbows that stick out. So uh, Donkey Kong is still pretty good, but Bowser, people don't really use Bowser online at all, I've noticed. Uh, Bowser takes up so much screen real estate. What? What? I just shot over the entire thing. Unbelievable. What am I supposed to do there? It's been a while since I played like 200cc actively, but I've uh, this week I've started playing 200cc again. I made a 200cc video uh, yesterday, I believe it was. Scary turn right here. PD Prana using the Prana Plant looks so cool. It's like equivalent to like, wow, Wiggler, Wiggler. All right, I am not tricking here. I am just gonna go slow and it's gonna work better. It's so stupid. What? The boost stole my mushrooms? Come on. We're connecting this, we're connecting this, I think. Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Yes, blooper dodge, bam blooper dodge. I got a little breakaway right now. This is going great. That's my new strat for 200. I mean, it's not very fast, but it's working. Oh, I didn't hit anything. Let's go. Let's go. Got the double box. All right. My blooper gameplay has improved. I could not have done that section better. How does that work? Do I have too many, too much speed from the coins? How does that work the first two laps and it doesn't work on the last lap? This game perplexes me. I always have so many questions when I play this game. So many questions and so little answers. No. All right, wait, no, we're fine, we're fine. Go, go, go. Yes. The blooper is menacing in this game. I should have just went around. I probably still would have got second. I was really going for it all. I'm loving the four dry bones in the room. Let's try to get 12 dry bones. If we get 12 dry bones in a room, then this turns into a 12 hour stream. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it won't happen anyway. All right, we get a new room. I keep getting second place and I am perfectly fine getting second in these rooms. Second is really good. I'll take second any day of the week. Let's see here. We got Fatima with the $10. Yo, thank you so much. Hi Troy, just got home from work and I'm about to enjoy this stream, smiley face. Also, I hope your days uh, been going great. Got that little heart emoji, love that. Thank you so much Fatima, enjoy the stream and if you have Mario Credit Deluxe, join in on the fun. There's still plenty of time. You could join 15 minutes from now and still play all 24 races. It's 200 CC, so it goes really quick. How many hours on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe do you have? I actually checked that yesterday. It said I have 490 something hours. But honestly, it feels like I have more than 490. I feel like, you know why? Because I also have like 500 hours on the regular Mario Kart 8. So it feels like I have a thousand hours, even though I have like 490. But 490 is a lot. Like, that's definitely more than most people in the chat right now. And I, I think I only had like, probably 50 or 60 hours until the Booster Course Pass came out. And then I started playing it a lot. Like, I don't think I had uploaded a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe video in like over three years until Booster Course Pass. I wonder who has the most hours in the chat. Oh, that was clean. I gotta just hold this mushroom, don't I? Definitely. Eight coins, mushroom in first. Hopefully there's no red shell, but even if there is, that's fine.
That is how you dodge a red shell, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you dodge a red shell, part two. I just keep getting second place. I love how like the sliding, I, I barely hit the ramp and I slid out of control because this track is mega glossy and it actually ended up working out because there's two reds coming anyway. And then I hit the rainbow thwomp, which was way better than getting redded. I just toppled forward and kept going. I think that they should add the fake item box, get rid of the coin item, and then make the effect of the fake item box similar to how it was in Double Dash, kind of how it was when I hit the Rainbow Thwomp, like where you topple forward and you keep part of your speed, so that way it's kind of the reverse of Mario Kart Wii, where like the banana was buffed in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and then the fake item box would be nerfed, because the fake item box is like, it's really good in Mario Kart Wii, I mean it affects you so much better than a banana does if you hit your opponent with it, like it, it, it does so much more damage. Uh, it's a complete stop while the banana makes you lose like probably like two-thirds of your speed Hey, we got tails the fox tails the fox with the four-month membership. What is up tails? Hello, Troy. We missed the streams your uploads are on fire keep going wave 5 is amazing And I really love squeaky clean sprint. Yeah, that one's a fun track uh, Definitely really cool design. They, they put a lot of effort into it We got bedroom course and bathroom course now, you know because uh, ribbon road is in a bedroom and there might be another room based course I mean, we had Mario Kart Home Circuit where every single room was a track, so Nintendo's really following that theme lately, haven't they? Oh, I don't like this track. I don't like this one. We had Yoshi Circuit, the best track in the game, and we get Animal Crossing. Boo! Uh, let's see here. Uh, Rosha won with the $5. If Mario Kart 9 is announced in 2025 and you got to pick a character item or track to bring back, what would you pick? I would pick Dry Dry Ruins. I want Dry Dry Ruins or Bowser's Castle from Mario Kart Wii. The, those would be the two tracks I want the most. As for character, Funky Kong. As for item, the Mega Mushroom. Or the Feather. The Feather in Races. Oh, that was dirty. The Feather in Race, I'm done, I'm done. Thank you guys, thank you for the Wombo Combo. But yeah, like I mean the Feather would be really cool, but I don't know how they would make it work exactly. It was a little busty. And it's not very good in battle, it feels like. Whenever I get the feather in battle, I always felt underwhelmed. Nice. Okay, we're making a comeback here. Don't do it, Crunchy. Don't do it. Yes. Oh, this is a great race so far. It is so super close right now at the front. I do not like the blooper. The blooper is the best item in the game. Can't see anything. Can't see anything! I hit a tree! I can't see anything. fourth place it's like it's hard too because like that whole sandy section is like the same color but like some of it's off-road and some of it's not on 200 cc the blooper is like twice as good because you're just out of control oh my gosh that's crazy i'm already getting hungry i'm gonna have to power through this stream right now talking makes you hungry fun fact i gotta drink some water Favorite Mario Kart 8 Deluxe track? Probably Yoshi Circuit. I would have said DK Summit, but I can't stand the physics on 200cc. It's like not made for it at all. Vincent Alford, thank you for the $5. Thank you for all the content. Been watching a lot of your Mario Kart 8 videos and really ignited my passion to play again. Oh, that's awesome to hear, Vincent. Yeah, I mean, the game is hype right now. Nintendo has been doing a good job with the DLC. It's been really interesting. The fact that they actually like, buff the and nerf the uh, 
vehicle parts and the characters every time like is fascinating i can't believe it i kind of feel bad for time trialers because like imagine you time trial this game and you put like a hundred hours into a track or something crazy and then nintendo just says oh we're making this better now your uh, record is irrelevant like it's kind of messed up but i don't time trial so i love it um but i feel bad for the time trialers you know Country line woodcraft with the $10. Yo, thank you. Enjoying the booster core stream, hearing your insights and possible new metas. Keep it up, Troy. I'm trying to read your comment and race right now. That is proving to be a hard task. I think I read it all. The multitasking was real right there. Okay. Let me try to focus. It's pretty hard to focus in these streams. There's just a million things going on. It's already hard enough to focus in the videos. Oh, this is such a good pull. This shortcut is busted. Yeah, look at that shortcut. Can I hit this? Yeah, I can hit this. Nice. Let's go. This track was made for 200. I really, really like this one on 200. On 150, I think it's boring. But on 200, it's scaled perfectly. Oh, that was nice. Let's go, Purple Me Turbo. I heard it's faster to hop after a spin boost. I don't know if it's true or not. I was trying to like outrun the blue shell for a bit and then like throw the banana, but nope. Guys, I'm loving the streetle. It's feeling great. Come on, let's not mess this up. Yo, it does feel better. It really does. The red couldn't even reach me. We just got first place. That was my best race of the day, no question. Got blued, got first. Can't ask for much more. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much to uh, County, County Line Woodcraft for the $10. I think I said country. Uh, I really appreciate that. And yeah, I will give all my opinions on everything regarding Mario Kart. Let's see. Uh, 200 is super fun when it's fun and super frustrating when it isn't. I, I just love 200cc because like even when like the races go badly like you don't take it too seriously because the races literally happen in like one minute. Like they're so short. On on 150cc you gotta play a while and then you finally get to the, the meat of the game which is lap three and then it's a make or break and then sometimes something hits you you don't even see on your screen and then you have to wait for the next result screen and the voting screen and the waiting screen and then you have to wait two more laps and then you have that lap three moment again. But on 200cc, you just fly through it, you know? Like the races are so fast. So, I mean, 200cc, I, I, I had never played 150cc in this game, like maybe once or twice until Booster Course Pass came out. And then I realized looking at YouTube that almost everyone plays 150cc and no one plays 200. And I kind of felt sad because I was like, ah, oh, I put all this time on 200cc and then like I had like 60 hours on this game on 200 and then nobody played it. But that's why most of my tournaments are 200cc because I feel like there's not enough 200cc love. And think about it, Nintendo just almost entirely removed 200cc from Worldwide. So they barely show up anymore. They already didn't show up enough and now they barely show up. So, yeah, I mean, it is uh, it is what it is. I'm really happy that Nintendo made mirror mode show up less because I can't stand mirror mode. Like, there's nothing worse than having to play a city track on mirror mode. But, uh, you know, like, 200cc did not need to get nerfed on Worldwide. I don't know if nerfed is the correct word, but that's, that's what comes to mind. Beautiful, beautiful. Time to do the rock hop. I wish. I really like my position right now. In second. I have such good items. Don't snipe me, don't snipe me. Oh, that was sick. I don't know if it was faster, but I loved it. I had to use that mushroom. The blooper is too strong in this game. Blooper equals bigger threat than blue shell in my mind. On 200, I should specify. Yes! I was really happy that wasn't a bomb because I had to break a lot. All right, we're getting wrecked here. That's fine. But if it was a bomb, I would have got owned. We're still in first. Let's go. Let's go. 
I'm, I'm gonna be devious here. See if it works. No, there's two bloopers! Two bloopers! I can't see anything. The blooper's too good. I still won. The blooper affected everyone else more. The PD Piranha player almost caught me. It was really close. Don't want to be too negative, but I saw Sunset Wilds after the update and seeing it sunset and tour, but not a. Oh my gosh, you're so right. Like, like, you know, when you pay money for something, you expect effort. And when I played Sunset Wilds, I was like, wow, they really put minimal effort. It kind of reminded me of like when I played Toad Circuit the first time, and I love Toad Circuit. It was one of my favorite tracks in Mario Kart 7. But then I was like, wow, they really put no effort into this. Like they made this track in 30 minutes. You know, like they ported it over and they did nothing to it. And they like ZPL fixes the tracks. Go go check out ZPL's channel. And he actually uh, retextures the tracks and makes them better than Nintendo. Like Nintendo should hire ZPL that they would sell more copies and the tracks would look better. Whoa, that is a cool buff DK me. I love that me. Um, but anyway, Sunset Wilds, you know, in uh, the GBA, which uh, is not the most powerful game console. Uh, to say the least, I mean, the GBA is literally from 2001 or something. The sun sets on Sunset Wilds. It gets lower every lap, it gets darker, and like with the music being 1.5x speed on lap three and the track being dark, it has like a vibe to it that is not, you know, it's 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 not like replicated at all in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like, like how, how does the sun set in Mario Kart Tour and Mario Kart on the Game Boy and it doesn't set on 8 Deluxe? Like that is just so lazy. So I agree, like, the more I think about it, the more it upsets me. And I think that that's definitely the worst track out of the eight that came out. And it is one of the worst tracks, like, out of all the, out of all of the, like, DLC period. Um, there's one thing I really like about Sunset Wilds. I love how they have it. So there's that little section of track that you can, if you do it really precisely, you can cut it inside, inside the mud and you could stay on it and it's not off-road. I think that's really cool track design. And then there's also this one combo shortcut on 200 where you can go inside like a cactus and then you can go behind the tent and then you can trick off the ramp. And that's a really cool shortcut. So like overall, like there's, there's a couple of cool things they did with the track, but they completely removed part of the track at the end. There's a shortcut they removed and they removed a U-turn and they removed another U-turn. And then they added like a ramp section and then like a left turn. And I don't know, it, it, it just feels kind of underwhelming. Like it, it doesn't even feel like Sunset Wilds. They could just call it Sun Wilds or something. Like they should have renamed the track. And exactly, Jaxi. Like all this says to us is the Game Boy Advance is more powerful than the Nintendo Switch. Like, come on, Nintendo, put an effort on your tracks. Like, please, you know, like some of the tracks, they put immense effort. Like look how incredible like Big Blue and Mute City look and how much detail was put into those tracks. And then you look at things like Toad Circuit and Sunset Wilds and you're like, is this even from the same video game? You know, it's it's mind blowing. Let's see. I think I'm caught up on everything right now. Cherry Cup was sadly kind of mid. <laughs> I do like Berlin byways. Yeah, I like the Berlin track. I, I used to hate it when it first came out because I thought it was confusing, but now I actually know where to go, so I like it more. I'm missing coins everywhere. Get to me! Yes. I even braked just to make sure that hit me and didn't ruin me. Oh, I already have 10 coins. What am I doing? Super horn, please. Oh. Out of control, out of control. Oh, there it is. No! That is not cool. Come on, game. 
Why you gotta do me dirty like that? I'm in the most awkward spot. Like, not only did I get blue shelled, I lost like an extra three or four seconds. Well, I couldn't have expected two blue shells in 20 seconds. Less than 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Yeah, third. I just hit the chemic on the line. I'll take third. That that race felt catastrophic. Like if you get blue shell twice in one lap, on the lap that matters the most, and it's in awkward spots, and you can't take the shortcut, you expect to get last. So I'll take third. All right, what are we at? We're at 103 points. I mean, we're we're doing pretty well so far. I mean, I'm gonna stick this combo. It's going well, guys. It's going well. Hi Troy, how are you today? I'm a little hungry right now, but otherwise I'm doing great. How are you doing, uh, JD Brox? What is up? Thanks for joining the stream. And guys, right below me, tournament code, join while you can. It only started 30 minutes ago. You could join right now, play all 24 races, and have a chance on the leaderboard. We are trying to get top 10. That's always our goal. And worst case scenario, we try to get top 20. Most of the time we achieve it. I think the best I've ever gotten is like fourth or fifth. Top three would be incredible, but it's just impossible. So many good people join these rooms. I gotta play better if I want top three. What's your favorite track? Uh, I don't know what my favorite track is, but um, it's either Yoshi Circuit or Mushroom Gorge, like off the top of my head. Yes, I love this one. This one's probably top 10. DK Mountain for wave six. Oh, that would be the best. I would love DK Mountain. I think we're going to probably get SNES Bowser Castle 3. People have been talking about that. 400 people are playing ZPL? Oh my gosh. We have 1,200 people watching, so that means one third of you are playing. Thank you so much, guys. Like, 400 is an incredible turnout. I didn't even announce this. I didn't even know if I was going to stream today, but I figured we got to stream today. With the new DLC, it, it's hype. I might even stream tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, going to try to stream sometime during the week, though, if I don't do tomorrow. I think I might play in the turn, like th there's a Clan War tomorrow, and I've never played a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Clan War, or have I? Was the Beery, I guess the Beerio Kart thing was cl a Clan War, so I, I guess I have played a Clan War, but but you know, like like a legit Clan War. Um, so I, I might join it, uh, Rod invited me, and we'll see if the timing works, but I would love to play in that, because I know Technical is in there, and he's one of the best players in the world, so I, that would be some good experience. And just to play in a clan war setting with people who play clan wars regularly would be super hype. So I want to try to do do that because it would be it would be Wild Wiggler Wiggler versus Yoshi Yoshi Bike. Like that's the format. And if, if I have to use Yoshi Bike, I'm screwed. But if I if I can use Wild Wiggler Wiggler, I have a chance. How did I get my main turbo so quick? That was busted. Okay, I'm gonna try to get two boxes here. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, we got a banana. Let's go. Professional Brake Drifter. Somehow did not hit the penguin. I was bracing for impact. Awesome. I didn't even do the shortcut I won. When does that happen? Eat a cheese sandwich. I mean, I wish I had a cheese sandwich on deck right now. Seriously. You guys have some good advice in the chat. Thank you, chat. T. Wood, thank you for the uh, five pound donation. Um, I'm really sorry to hear that about your little bro. Uh, it says my content has been really, really small for me. I, maybe that's a typo. What does that mean? My content has been really small. Um, but T. Wood, uh, my condolences. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm gonna be uploading a lot. You guys have no idea how many videos I have queued. I think I have like six videos on Unlisted right now on YouTube. Like I'm trying to daily upload if you guys have noticed. So uh, I have never grinded like this in quite some time. I've been on my computer all day, every day, pretty much. But it's uh, <clears throat> it's gonna be Mario Kart Wii pretty soon. I got, I got like another like four or five days of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but I think tomorrow is gonna be a Mario Kart Wii video. I, I got, a whole knockout tournament series going right now. It's 150cc, and I'm gonna tell you guys, it is by far the best tournament that we've done. 
like the hype of the racers, the level of competition, and it is all retro tracks, all Nintendo tracks, 150cc, Mario Kart Wii, double elimination knockout. Like it is gonna be really, really fun. Uh, we're already partway through the tournament, no spoilers. And it's gonna have invitational. It's just gonna be like the tournaments we did last year. So there's that to look forward to. There's gonna be a lot of uploads in the next month. Trying to upload a lot while it's summer for everyone. Everyone's got school off right now. I wanna make sure I'm as active as possible during this time. I wonder when wave six is gonna come out. I hopefully it's November and not December. All right, I love this track. It's a little bit difficult, a little bit random, but so much fun. Oh, no box. Okay, that's fine. Shimless cut time. Oh, I got the box. Beautiful, beautiful. I guess something hit me, cool. Wow, get me out of here. That was sick. Let's go. Go, go, go. Oh, yes, first, best win of the day. How did I manage to get first right there? That was crazy. Oh. Crazy. FaceTime Enmead and eat a cheese sandwich. You guys have the best ideas. I need to read chat more often. <laughs> I am trying to get a video with Nick where we play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe before Flounderfest. Just so you guys can gauge what the competition level is like. And I asked Nick, I was like, have you played the new DLC? And he's like, no, I haven't. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't need like I had to explain to him. I was like uh, Here's the changes they made to Koopa Cape and, and move, move you highway like we talked the other day And he has no idea like what's going on in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe world like He's only played online one time So I, I like I don't want Flounderfest to be like me having all this experience and it being like just like a wash You know like I, I want to give him time to practice the game, but he's been so busy with life You know he doesn't really have time to play like video games very much so once he has time and he devotes it to Mario Kart uh, 8 Deluxe, we're gonna do Flounderfest. Like I really wanna do another season uh, or two seasons of Flounderfest, but Mario Kart 8 Deluxe this time. FaceTime Mr. Beast and ask him to play Flounderfest. I wish I had Mr. Beast on speed dial. That he'd be very helpful. <laughs> he'd be very helpful for YouTube. The YouTube goat. <laughs> I'm gonna try the, the shortcut I was talking about earlier on the stream. Let's see if I can actually get it. And ladies and gentlemen, we are almost halfway through the tournament. After this race, we'll be halfway. So exciting stuff. Doing pretty well right now. It's right here. Yeah, I failed it. But it was fun. You know what? We were just bagging on this track like crazy and like it deserves it. But I must say the, the shy guys are a nice touch. And the music is still really good. So at least it has that going for it. Nice low trick. Let me try this again. That's really hard on 200. I don't think I'm gonna go for that lap three. I think I've wasted enough time this race going for shortcuts that I can't make. No, my fellow Drybone Street Old stole my box and now I'm done. I am done. It's a good pull though, I'll take it. No idea what to do. I'm just in a really bad space. This is such a spam track. Like, like this track is so stupid. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to do on that one. It's, it's like the new, 
uh, what, what does it remind me of? It reminds me of Riverside Park. It's like the new Riverside Park. That's what it feels like. It just it, it feels like a complete RNG machine. Yo, Rosha One, thank you for the ten dollars. Uh, let's see here. Last super chat. I really respect how you're always able to keep your cool. It's a lot harder in this game than it is in Mario Kart Wii. No matter what happens. I know I'd be swearing like a sailor. Keep it up. Road to 500k. Yes, road to 500k. We're over the hump of 450k. We are making waves right now on the subscribers. So thank you so much, Rosha. I actually really appreciate that, like big time. And I, I do my best, but it is, it is tough with this game. Th th this game is super frustrating because things hit you that aren't even near you. Like, like you, ju you just feel like it's completely out of your control when you play this game. So I'm, I'm perplexed when I win and I'm perplexed when I lose. And in Mario Kart Wii, I can at least like make sense of the game, you know? Nintendo just needs to fix the netcode and the game would be so much better. Like if, if they just make it so items, when they actually hit you on your screen, they hit you like in the game, like, like that would fix the game tenfold. That would, that would make the game a much more enjoyable experience, but it drives me insane when I'm you know, this far away from the racer and they hit me with their back red shell that they're just trailing when I'm going wide to purposely not get hit by that. Whoa, it is Streetle meta. Look at the Streetles. And the Streetle looks so awesome on anti-gravity. So this this is gonna be fun. Full anti-gravity track. I love Baby Park on 200cc. On 150, it's kind of eh. But I do love doing shortcut over and over. If you guys don't know how to do the shortcut, all you have to do is release your mini turbo the second that you hit the off-road. So you, you, you go wide, you drift in, you get an orange mini turbo, and you release. And you just do that over and over. And it, it's really busted. Why did that coin disappear? That was weird. Ladies and gentlemen, a perfect baby park race. I could not have done that any better. I laughed like half of the room. That was so fun. And sometimes I get distracted watching the roller coaster on this track. It actually makes me so sad that there's a roller coaster on this track and not on Los Angeles Labs. Like, there is a roller coaster on that pier right next to the Ferris wheel, and they didn't put the roller coaster on the track. It drives me insane. Yes, exactly, Dark Arrow Warrior. I feel like the netcode has gotten worse. I, exactly, my, I just took the words right out of my mouth. I'm the one that asked, knows. Wow, impressed, nailed it, spot on. Me plus Troy, one, two, GH Giant, top two, baby, let's get it. We got William Kwan with the one pound donation. Thank you so much, William. Hope you're enjoying the stream today. I really appreciate that. I like your profile picture. It looks cool. Let's see. <laughs> Yo, old green shells be hitting me left and right near these cheap, cheap lagoons. Arr! Paint SG. I'm loving the, the pirate slang there. I'm loving it. I disconnected three times. This is dumb. Robin94, welcome to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Netcode. Seriously. Nintendo needs to improve their online. It literally is like 2001 online. Like, it's pathetic, honestly. It's one of the worst things about the company for me. Just give us better online. How does Mario Kart Wii custom servers have better online than an actual official Nintendo game that sold over 60 million? 60 million people bought this game. Like, that's insane. This this game might sell 100 million. And that that is nuts, if you think about it. It's one of the highest uh, selling games in history. It's like top six or seven, maybe top five even. I mean, if you don't count Wii Sports, because I know that's like the only Nintendo game that has more sales. Like, I don't even know if I really count that because it was with every single Switch. Or, <laughs> not Switch, uh, Wii. Mixing up game consoles over here. All right, I, I've had so many good races recently. I was kind of bound for a bad moment there, getting bombed. But luck has been on my side lately. Get him off the ramp. Oh, 
Okay, it took forever to get my star. Like there was like quite a bit of delay between when I used the last last fire flower and when it actually granted me my star from my item. But things are still going okay. Break drifted just enough. This is going so slow, bullet bill. Come on, come on. What a garbage bullet bill. It went like two miles an hour. It couldn't even pass the person in front of me. I don't understand the bullet bills in this game. Like, the bullet bill in Mario Kart Wii is cracked. And then in this game, the bullet bill sometimes feels great, and other times it doesn't even work. It kind of reminds me of the Mario Kart 7 bullet bill, honestly. I've done the best I've ever done in the two, online 200cc in these rooms. Giratina, let's go! That's a good feeling. Exactly. They, they don't care and they do the bare minimum. Like, the game is actually really polished. Like, you play it offline. I mean, sure, like, there's so much spammy items, but, like, the game is really polished. The game looks beautiful for the most part, minus, like, Toad Circuit. Um, but then the netcode, like, is, is atrocious. LA Laps is pretty underrated. I agree. I, I think it's one of the better city tracks, but I'm biased, so it's kind of unfair. Uh, and I think Athens is the best, LA is second, and Vancouver is third. But Vancouver is the hardest, and, and I actually do appreciate the hard tracks in this game because I feel like there's a lot more easy tracks than hard tracks. So I do, do appreciate. Yo, we got 540 people in the tournament and 1,154 uh, 1, watching right now. So uh, we almost have half the people that are watching playing, and that is extremely cool. Thank you guys so much for joining the tournament. Now we play the worst track ever. Nintendo, when you made this track, you weren't thinking about actually having fun. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, you know what? This track's better on 200, but on 150, it's really slow. Also, big shouts to this PD Prana GLA player using the button wheels. That is quite the combo. Definitely bringing the hype right now. I got stuck. That was really bad. What? What? Well, you know what? I got a purple main turbo, even though it looks super weird. That's a great pull. This game makes no sense. How did I just... Well, good thing I have another mushroom. I, I cannot play this track on 200cc, apparently. Making every mistake in the book. No. It's over. Golden's really good though. A banana? What am I supposed to do on that track? What am I supposed to do? The physics are just so weird on that track. Like there's so many things you can hit and then it shoots you the opposite direction and then you're just stuck. That track is like one of my least favorite tracks in the history of Mario Kart as a franchise. I think it's my second least favorite track in the game. You guys already know what my least favorite is. Can we just play LA Laps one time? Can we just play Koopa Cape? Can we just play Movie Highway? And if you're not voting the DLC, leave this, <laughs> leave this tournament. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's most people voting it. I don't even like this DLC track and I want to play it. That shows my commitment to the DLC. Super ML with the 14 Canadian dollars. Yo, thank you so much. Your Mario Kart Wii videos are some of my absolute favorite content to watch. You put smiles on a lot of people's faces. Keep it up, man. Oh, that's a really wholesome comment. I, I appreciate it. Um, Mario Kart Wii video tomorrow, I can assure you, it is not going to be one you're going to want to miss. Like, it is one of my favorite Mario Kart Wii videos I've uploaded this year, I would say. Thank you, Super ML. I really appreciate that. Kind message and generous donation. Thank you so much. We got William Kwan with the two, uh, two pounds take on Delfino Square as a booster course pass track, that would be a dream come true. Delfino Square, one of the best tracks Nintendo ever made. If they put Delfino 
in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, then I think that Nintendo fans would rejoice. This is great. I got Blue Shell last time on this track, and y'all saw it happen, so having a Mushroom in first gives me a fighting chance right now. And I have a bomb. This is really good. So there's a shortcut. I should probably do the shortcut. It's not this corner. It's the next one. Okay, I didn't do that boost panel section right at all. We're struggling on this try. It's really slidey. It's really tough, actually. On 200, I mean, I'm struggling a little bit here. And the sun never sets, and we are sad. Close. No blue shell? We're good? We're good? Yes! Yes! That's good redemption after what happened last time. No blue shell. Can't complain. Can't complain. Matt as a character. We do not need Matt from Wii Sports as a character. Everyone will literally be so upset if that happens. Troy, use Wiggler, please. Paint SG just for you. I'll switch to Wiggler. Just for you. I'll do one race. <laughs> Tails the Fox, what? I don't even know how much money this is. 1,000 AED, it's a red message. And the darker the color, the more the dono. I just disconnected from my own tournament. Details, please try again later. Unable to connect, our online is garbage. Sincerely, Nintendo. Tails the Fox, wow, oh my gosh. Hey again. I got 14th last week, and I love how you were collected and calm while your friend here is screaming like there is no tomorrow and it is the end of the world. <laughs> Tails the Fox, you're getting top 10 soon. 14th is really good considering hundreds of people play. So major props, best of luck in the tournament. And he says, dry bones emo, and then says, keep going, moving, cause we got your back. How's the tourney of finding a home? Where's Airship Fortress? Uh, things are going great on the home end. Uh, I can update you at a later date with that. Um, and where is Airship Fortress? I, I think we actually might get that track. We, we might get that track in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I give it a 40% chance. I'm pretty sure it's in Mario Kart Tour and it's a fan favorite track. And it was also in Mario Kart 7. And they seem to love to bring the Mario Kart 7 tracks back. Uh, Tails the Fox, thing, things are going great and I, I really appreciate this donation. This this is like the biggest donation I've gotten in a while. Like I honestly saw it the second it happened and I just did the explosion, <laughs> explosion sign language, we'll call it. Wow, um, hopefully get to play some races together. Uh, really appreciate you joining all the tournaments and participating in all the streams and literally being the number one supporter here on YouTube for me. Thank you so much to Tales the Fox. And I believe he lives in Dubai, from what I remember. Somewhere in the UAE, and we see the AED uh, currency. So, uh, really appreciate that. A $272 donation. GG's. That's insane. That, the major thank you. I, I can't say thank you enough, honestly. Oh, I have to change my combo. I just remembered. We're doing the combo that was in the thumbnail. Thumbnail combo, here we go. Whoops, whoops, uh, uh, there we go. Okay, so now all we need is Maple Treeway, and then we have Wild Wiggler Wigglin with the Wigglers. And that is the, that that is the peak, that is the peak Mario Kart experience. <laughs> Great that we are paying 20 pounds for a server that disconnects and has horrible net code and you can't even figure out what's going on. Seriously, I, 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 mean, I need to like devise a stream where we all like write letters to Nintendo. It's just me writing a letter to Nintendo and then you guys can just copy everything I write and we just mass send emails to Nintendo uh, ab about like how garbage the online is in this game. It holds the game back. like. This game has so many incredible things about it. And that is, I think, the number one problem with the game. And the number two problem is the red shells. 
Los Angeles showed up for you, Pixel Shifts, but not for me. I have not seen it once. We're getting kind of unlucky. The only DLC track we play is Sunset Wilds, and that's the only one people don't want to play. It's been pretty brutal. I think we played Daisy Cruiser earlier, and we played Vancouver Velocity at least. Is the airship vehicle worth using? Yeah! I have a video coming out in two days where I use the airship, and it's a video where I use like world record combos. So uh, that's something to look forward to. It's a bunch of combos that are used in like new DLC world record. Wait, I already forgot where to go. I, I, I think I saw someone go that way and I, I just followed them. Major fail. I've been to the city, so I shouldn't be going the wrong way. Okay. Purple? No, I, this is gonna be tough, guys. The Wiggler combo is a million times harder than Dry Bones. Like, my handling sucks, my acceleration sucks. I'm using this for one race and I'm switching back. Because my I'm doing well in this tournament so far. I have a chance to make the leaderboard, I think. So I don't want to squander my chance with the chats combos. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm doing better now. We're, we're redeeming our wrong corner from earlier. Yes. Yes, I keep my boomerang. Love that mechanic. It's not working the way I want it to. Yep. Inevitable. Not getting blue shell. We're not that far behind, guys. No one really gets giant breakaways on this track. No box. Yes! No! That is so stupid. How does the boo always steal your item when you're going for a shortcut? That was a cheese. That was a third place cheese. I'm getting off this combo. I'm sorry. It is way more difficult. Way more difficult. I got lucky to get third that race. Wow. Okay, we have 190 points. I, I think we're doing really well this tournament. Let's finish strong. So for everyone watching uh, who is trying to join the tournament, We'll use Chemic for a race, uh, but but anyway, for everyone watching, you're not always gonna get in the same room with me, of course. Like, pretty much how it works is like, you know, if there's 500 people playing, like it, it uh, reshuffles you every four races. So, you know, there's six different rooms I'm in, because four times six, big math right there. And you got, you know, I'm, I'm playing against you know, like maybe like 60 of you or so. Some of you get in the same rooms multiple times as me, but uh, I, I'm only playing against like 12% of the players that are in the tournament. So it's just pure luck if you get in the same room as me. 500 people were playing. Yeah, that's insane. We got to get in the same room as Tails the Fox. I mean, Tails the Fox dropped a massive donation. My power is off? What are you talking about? Tails the Fox just said his power is off. I don't know what that means. I hope his power just didn't go out right now. That would not be good. Okay, the race started. I need to focus. I need to focus. The focusing is at an all-time low. We need this double box. Beautiful. That actually kind of worked. That was better than it looked. I'll take it. Zero coins, one mushroom, and eight. Not my best performance. I feel like coins matter less on 200. More triples? I can't complain. It's a good item.
What? Double what? Triple what? Ooh. I can't drive right now. That was so frustrating. I'm switching back to my good combo. I'm done using middleweights. I'm done using heavyweights. I'm going back to lightweights. It is so much easier to play this CC. And I have two people in this room that are extremely close in points to me, so I need to beat them. We're going back to the good combo. Oh, we got Mount Wario. You, you guys know what that means. We know we're going to see about eight Mount Warios getting voted right now. Also, I don't know what it is. I like the Cloud Glider the most. There, I said it. I know everyone loves everyone loves the Paper Glider, but I really like the, the Cloud Glider. And Pesta, thank you for the, uh, let's see here, uh, wishing me a great day. Thank you so much. Loving the new DLC. Likewise, I think that seven out of the eight tracks are good and a couple of them are really good. I actually like Moonview Highway and Koopa Cape more than most Mario Kart Wii players. I, I've seen a lot of Mario Kart Wii players really disappointed with those variants, but for me, like I remember Koopa Cape more like recently with Mario Kart 7 and being disappointed with like what they did to it in Mario Kart 7. So I was I was really happy to see like some of the new additions they made from the Mario Kart 7 version because I think it's a fun track. I wish it would sh it would show up and and look at that guys. I literally called it. I said eight people would vote Mount Wario. Eight people voted Mount Wario, but we got random. Let's go. Yo, Shortcat. Shortcat, I, I might join that uh, clan war tomorrow. I, I, I know you're in it, and that would be so fun. So I'm going to try to get in that. Uh, it just depends what time it is at. Uh, always got into the same room as you. Yeah, I know. I feel like we raced so much last time. Uh, last time I streamed, or two times ago when I streamed, we, 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 we raced like probably eight or ten races against each other. So... Shortcat has the hidden stat for getting in the good rooms, guys. The YouTuber stat, that's what you call it. So this is my combo that I use the most whenever I play 200. Oh, oh! Cool, got sniped. I always think people are gonna like hold their green shells for protection, but nope, they just throw them at me. What can I do? It is incredibly easy to snipe in this game. The green shells are so big. Oh, cool! Super horn for offense. You guys are just destroying me this race. What? I have triple greens out! Well, I mean, despite a million bad things happening, we're actually in a decent spot. We're not hitting the offer this time, being the inside box. It's not all bad. Didn't get blue. Beautiful. I'm gonna go a little wide for it. Oh, no! Okay, there was an invisible wall there. That just saved me. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like I was gonna get seventh that race or worse, but this just like so many things went wrong and I still got second place. And it's because of the combo. Like the lightweights dominate 200 CC. It is tough to use anything that's not a lightweight or a featherweight on 200. I'll be honest, I saw you streaming. So I just refreshed room until I got in a room with you. Oh, see, see, oh, oh. Yes! Los Angeles. If you do not vote Los Angeles, then you're ki- so You're banned. <laughs> if it picks that Yoshi Valley, the stream ends. I'm serious. Uh, but shortcut, that is actually really smart. So if you guys want to get in a room with me, you have to do the shortcut strat, and that means just keep refreshing and keep rejoining. And that same strategy is what I do whenever I record my videos after the DLC comes out. I, I want to start the video with the DLC track when I play Worldwide or I play the 200cc World Cup. So what I do is I join rooms and then I just leave until a DLC track shows up. And if people aren't voting the DLC, I also leave. I have never played this track on 200cc online. I have never played this track. This is going to be so much fun. I have no idea what this track is like on 200cc. I think I've only played it once offline. This is going to be so much fun. I'm on my good combo. 
There's Bowser Jr. in front of me, top two best characters in the game, let's go, until Funky Kong comes out, of course. And both these characters were not in the original Mario Kart 8, which is why I loved them even more. It was a great decision by Nintendo, adding these characters to the game. Oh, I'm gonna hit the surfboard. No, we're not! Let's go! You can go in the water here. That's fun. Get our feet wet a little bit. And now we're first with a mushroom. Let's go, crabs! Gotta figure out these corners. I get distracted when I play this track. I recognize every single landmark, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Dodger Stadium with the 98 on the left is my favorite thing ever, by the way. At least I'm going to get to take the shortcut. Well, I'm back in first, I guess. That's how you dodge a red shell, ladies and gentlemen. I thought my, uh, I thought my, uh, what's it called? My banana would connect, but I messed up and dropped it, and I screwed up, because it did not connect. I'm gonna get this item, hopefully. Good. Jeez. That's fine, that's fine. That is so hard. I still don't have the layout like fully down. So like on 200, like you have so much less time. And then the blooper and all the competition and all the craziness. But my red dodge was pretty legit, not gonna lie. I heard, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I heard you should dive out of bounds if a blue shell is chasing you so you can dodge the blue shell and keep your item. And that if, it, if you're holding it behind you as a trailing item. And I tried it once and it seemed like it was faster. So I'm trying to dive off the edge when blue shells come. And I feel like red shells almost affect you as much as blue shells. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I messed up and dropped that banana. That was, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to drop that banana. Yeah, the Los Angeles track is awesome. It's just missing the roller coaster. And they kind of messed up Malibu. Like Malibu jets off way further out, so it looks a little inaccurate. But they did put Catalina Island, which is so cool. And they also have the lighthouse from Palos Verdes. So like they, they did a pretty good job like making it accurate for the most part. But yeah, Malibu doesn't look correct. The roller coaster is gone. Um, but I love how they put Dodger Stadium in there. Like that was so cool. <laughs> They even have the hexagon shape that is in the outfield as the scoreboard for the advertisements. Like that is how accurate they went with it. Red shells are crazy in this game. That is an understatement. The red shell is the best item in the game. The red shell is better than the bullet bill. Seriously. Hey Troy, I just wanted you to know that my uncle works at Nintendo and let me play Mario Kart 9 early and all the maps are Excite Bike Arena and Dolphin Shoals. I'm not excited for the next Mario Kart. Ooh, Blue Lake. At least there's no water park. If you would have said water park, I would have streamed off. Yo, we got Super Titan 007 with the $1 dono. Thank you, Super Titan 007. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. We're almost done. We're trying to finish at the top of the leaderboard. Wish me luck. Top 10. Here we go. I need us to get more first places. I keep getting second. Hanma with the $10. Hey Troy, long time viewer. I just wanted to say you've helped me through so much with your content and you've been able to make me smile in the darkest of times in my life. Thank you. Hanma, those are honestly like the messages that uh, motivate me the most to make content all the time when I see that I can help people just by giving people an outlet to enjoy the entertainment that is the Mario Kart universe. And uh, th th that seriously brings a smile to my face. And thank you so much. Seriously, thank you so much. The videos are coming out like crazy this summer. I'm the most active I've ever been this summer. It's like 2018, 2017 level of activity where I was uploading like ridiculous amounts. Or not 2017, did I? Yeah, 2017 summer, I uploaded over 60 days in a row. Fun fact, I don't think people know that, but that's the most active I've ever been. And the reason why is because like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe had just came out. And like, I had two Mario Kart games to upload, so it's kind of nice, because it's the same thing again. With just like, the booster course patches coming out. No! 
People are evil. Triple mushrooms in third. This game makes no sense. Got the item. Let's go. I'm actually really happy I used that mushroom. I was kind of contemplating using it or not, but it ended up being totally worth it. Another mushroom? The game loves me. And the water is going to get rid of the blooper, which is the best part about this. Wait a second. Wait a second. It's not going to connect, is it? That was such a fun race. I'll take second. I mean, whoever got first, like, props. Seriously. Really ran away with it. I did everything I could. I did the shortcut every single race. I was on fire that race. Is this his job? It is my full-time job. I have employees and everything. It is quite the machine. The Mario Kart machine. That is this Mario Kart YouTube business. Lano says, Bam Shock Dodge. Yes! Please, 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 no. Okay, only one non-Koopa cape. Even voting Sunset Wilds is a tragedy right now. I will accept it, it's a tragedy. I will accept it, but. Oh, we got Lois in the room. <laughs> that is such a good me. People are so talented at making me's. I've had the same me for 12 years. I haven't changed anything. We got Leo Plasker with the $1 donation. Thank you, Leo, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, and we, we, we got lots of people here that are in the stream who are also in the tournament. And we have over 550 people playing right now. And we have 1,200 people watching. So it's almost half, which is so amazing. Honestly, so amazing. Hey, Troy, what if Nintendo makes a Rio de Janeiro track? I mean, I think Rio de Janeiro is one of the most beautiful cities. I mean, I don't want to visit there because it's like really dangerous, apparently. But I've seen pictures and it looks. It looks insane. The, the nature is next level. So, I mean, I would be super, extremely happy with a Rio de Janeiro uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe City. And you know what? If, uh, you know, if we have 7 through 12 waves, then I think we'll probably get Rio. I'm really excited for this. Shrimless cut! That was not very good, but it's fine. Got the item. Kerplunk. I'm still in first after falling off on lap one. That's insane. Yeah, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying all the cool strats, but they're not really working out. I should probably play a little safer. Oh, these Goombas are menacing. Yeah, we're in last pretty much. Ooh. That was better. That was better. I actually maintained some speed that time. Really happy I got that blue shell. I want to get first. Okay, how do you do this part? That's better. That that wasn't very good, but it was better. And I gotta be really careful here. Good pulls. What 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 even hit me? What even hit me? I don't know. I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna use this. It's I'm so out of control of this race. This track's fun though on 200. Nice, got the snipe. Let's go. Yeah, out of control, out of control. It's really tough on 200. It's it's a small track in this game. It's really small, so that, that's gonna take some practice to get used to for sure. I like Koopa Cape a lot in this game. It's definitely better than in Mario Kart 7. I don't know if it's better than Mario Kart Wii Koopa Cape. I don't know if I go that far. 
Mario Kart Wii Koopa Cape is next level. But Mushroom Gorge in this game is better, I think, than the, the Wii Mushroom Gorge. We only have two more trucks, so we're getting down to it, guys. We're getting down to it. So I uh, just wanted to say thank you to everyone who tuned in, and uh, especially thank you to everyone who joined the tournament. We're definitely doing one next week. This was a raging success, and Tails the Fox, once again, uh, big shout outs. He plays in all the tournaments, he's at all the streams, stays up late, even though I stream probably at a terrible time for Dubai, so like, extreme thank you to Tails the Fox for like, a giant 1000 AED donation. Thank you so much. It's missing the electric obstacles from Wii. I can't even imagine having to dodge those things on 200cc. Did you see how hard it was to even navigate the pipe on 200? I wish you could do full circles around the tube on uh, the sh on Koopa Cape in general. Like you should be able to ride the tube upside down. That would make the track better. Do you think that we Rainbow Road will be in wave six? Well, think about it. At the end of wave three, there's a Rainbow Road and it's the only one they've put in. So I think that the last two tracks in the Blue Shell Cup are gonna be a Bowser's Castle and we Rainbow Road. That's, that's my prediction. That would make sense in my head. Oh, I really like this track. I'm excited for this one. Thank you, Bowser Jr., for pushing me into that coin. I really appreciate that. I messed that up. I used the coin too early. No! Wait, why am I using this? I have 10 coins already. I can't play this game right now. My brain is fried. I'm just too hungry. I've been hungry since like race four. I can't even focus. Give me a super horn. <laughs> Asking you shall receive, ladies and gentlemen. I made like eight mistakes this race and I'm still in first. Beautiful. And the boo. How does that knock? I don't get this game. I don't get this game. The red was right behind me. I guess I was going too fast. It seems like when you drift, you lose a lot of speed. Like, there's so much happening, I can't even commentate. You guys saw it all. And I tried to get the double box, but no luck. I might be able to get first here. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I think I made every mistake in the book and I got first, and I think that just further proves my point that this game really makes no sense. It really makes no sense. I'll take it though, I'll take first. One more race, let's see if we can get 260 or 270. Let's see, let's see. GCM Wario Coliseum, I think that's one of the only tracks from Double Dash that has never been brought back. <sighs> I would normally pick Yoshi Circuit, but I am so excited to see Athens. We've already played Yoshi Circuit. <laughs> well, that was a sequence of all time. I know, right? I didn't even know what to say. That was just so much happening. I literally can't even, I, I'm so hungry right now. Like I can't even focus on anything else. Like I, I just keep thinking about food. What's your favorite new DLC track? Mine is Koopa Cape. Mine is Athens, I think. I think it's Athens. And if we play it, I'm going for the giant shortcut. I'm not kidding. If I get a mushroom, I'm going for it. 99% chance I fail, but if I if I get it, it is gonna be the biggest pop-off we've ever had on a stream. We got it. Thank you everyone for picking the DLC tracks, especially everyone I raced against today. Good games to everyone. And it's gonna be fun to check the leaderboard after this and see how it's all shook out. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is so confusing. I know, I agree. It is so confusing. I never know what to expect with this game. All right. 200cc feels less confusing for me. 150cc feels like a red shell slaughterhouse. It's like a horror movie, but it's a video game. Okay, we don't have a mushroom. We can't go for shortcut. That's fine. Let's not fall off. Pretty good start. Nine coins, new record. That's the most I've ever gotten in a race. Another banana, two bananas in a row. New record. So many records being broken.
The Goomba's scary. We're good. Oh, we're having quite the front run right now. The blue shell's gonna ruin me, but it's okay. That was fun while it lasted. No! That's fine, that's fine. We, at least we have enough speed to do tricks. We're still in first despite getting blued off the edge. What a race, what a race. One of my best races of the day. Oh, the physics helped me dodge the red. It cracked on the, the column because I shot sideways. What even was that? that? What a way to end the tournament. The red shell chasing me for six million years, and then I have a mega jank physics vibes moment, and I pull off the win. I get 271, which is one of the highest scores I've gotten. Okay, okay, this is going to be interesting. Maybe we crack the top five. I think we definitely crack the top 10 with that score. I'm really curious to see how many points we end up with. That was such a good ending. That was crazy. I, I was bracing for impact and it never got to me. And it cracked on the column. Ended with 246, Procky the Rock. That's a really good score. You probably top 20 for sure. Maybe top 15. It's making me spectate, but it also won't let me race anymore because I already got to 24 races. It always does this. Oh, this is torture. I have to spectate Mushroom Gorge? Yo, Sam Cargo's in the room. Let's go. We got to leave this room, though. We got to check our score. Let's see who's in first. Infinite's in first. Sam Cario's in second. Lap three. Got bodied. We don't have to watch. We don't need to see Sam Cario suffer. <laughs> Consumify, what is good? Broodlie, what is up? 251, not bad, not bad. I'm always happy if I get 250. That's kind of what I aim for, but we just had a really good tournament there. And let's see where we shook out on the leaderboard. Seventh place, only one away from Isaiah and Falcon 7 with 296. And Pixer 4K 289, Alexio, who's always at the top of these tournaments, 287. Day as well, always at the top, 278. And French player uh, Ligny 10, 276. Let's look at the bottom. We got Los Angeles in 10th place. Broodlie gets 16th. Atlas gets 18th. Atlas also always on the leaderboard, I've noticed. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Suchi with uh, 34 with the $5 donation. Hi, Troy, you always find a way to make me laugh. Keep up the good work. Appreciate that, Suchi. Thank you for tuning in today. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the stream. We'll be back next week with another Mario Kart 8 Deluxe stream. It'll probably be 150cc, I am not sure. Dead for life, good games, good games, good games, everyone. Quite the races, some really entertaining ones. The Wild Woods race made no sense. Uh, we had some amazing finishes on some of them though and the last one was a great way to top it all off uh that is it guys hope you enjoyed and i'm gonna go get some food because i am so hungry tails of the fox thank you once again and appreciate all of you who joined the tournament we had 681 people who played so thank you guys and with that